In this video, we're going to be going over some of the common problems and troubleshoot them for your converter. The first one is just a loose connection. When you're plugging in the USB cable to your computer and you turn on your converter, if it doesn't show the LED light, then check the connection to the hard drive and the connection to the computer and make sure they're properly secured. And you'll notice the LED finally turned on. Now a second problem could be that the IDE connections for your hard drive are just not properly synced up to your converter. So make sure that you have it on the right side when you're connecting the pins to the converter. A third potential problem could be because of a firewall on your computer. So when you're plugging in the USB cable to your computer and you turn on the power to your converter, if you don't notice the LED turning on, then let's jump over to your computer and make a few adjustments. On your Mac, just select the Apple icon and System Settings, then select Network, and then Firewall. Go ahead and turn off the firewall. And on Windows, go ahead and select the Windows icon and Settings, then select Update and Security. Select Windows Security, and then select Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and select Manage Settings. Go ahead and turn off the real-time protection. Now hopefully, at this point, the LED will turn on. Now another potential problem is that it could be just a defective computer port. So just move the USB cable over to a different port on your computer. Hopefully that resolves the problem. There you go, a blue LED. Now another thing is it, you might just have an incompatible USB adapter. Make sure you have one of our Zilkey or Apple adapters so that this converter can work properly with your computer. Off-brand adapters can cause connectivity issues and problems with data transfer. If you're using a third-party adapter with your Apple device and you're still having problems, please reach out to us for help. Thanks for watching.